Hello everyone! Today I'm going to actually weld something hopefully. It's really cold outside so I have my Ski Dubai gloves on. Um, but I also have this pile of metal over here. Ugh. I have this pile of metal that I've got from Ivy Projects. And I think I'm going to use this giant flat piece to practice my welds on first. So. First things first, I'm going to clamp it down and I'm going to sand it down with the angle grinder. Uh, safety first. There we go, got my eyes protected. And as you can see, I have my flap disc. So uh, let's see how this works. You can see the red thing on my glove, but I got a piece of red sandpaper in my mouth somehow. The moral of the story is when you angle grind, keep your mouth closed. All right, so we have our piece sanded down. And now it's actually time to weld. Let me walk you through what I'm doing over here. So I have clamps in place with these magnetic clamps so it can't move anywhere. I have my negative set up over here. And I'm just guesstimating some settings. We'll see if those work. And it's welding time. So let's go. Whoa, it's working. Whoa, I did something. That's really cool. All right, let me try and make a line. Oh no. So let's take a look at my weld. Um, I have a little slag hammer that I can use to break it apart. So let's see what happens. I should get a brush. Hey, not, not too bad. Not too bad for a first weld. It's very inconsistent because I had trouble starting the arc. And also when I was going, the rod kept getting shorter and it wasn't accounting for that, but it looks pretty decent. Might give it a couple more shots and I'll see if I can weld two pieces together next. I think that's my best one yet. Now what I want to try and do is weld two pieces together. So I have this piece of scrap iron, it's like a rod. I want to see if I can weld it to this flat thing over here. But first I gotta prep the material. Cue an ASMR montage.
wow, it actually turned out really well. It's not the prettiest weld, but it's solid. I can't break it off. Now you can actually tell how strong this weld is by trying to whack it while we clamp it down in a vise. Yeah, that's going nowhere. Well, there you have it. Today I was able to weld some simple lines and I was able to weld two pieces together. Granted, this is the second time I've ever welded. I'm honestly impressed that I was able to make it work at all. But now that I have the ability to make two metals connect almost permanently, this actually unlocks a lot of possibilities for me. I can make stronger robots, stronger mechanisms. So subscribe so you see all my cool projects and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.